Look at you! <laughs> you guys, this one's a little potter now. A potter, right? Pot of ceramics. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna get a little lesson here in the pottery studio with yes. a ceramicist, a professional ceramicist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's me. That's you. Okay, wait. Well, so, how did you create this whole little design that is very typical of your work? Look at this beauty. It's like a shape of some sort. Like maybe it's a vase, maybe it's a hug. <laughs> You know? So sometimes I'll make them and they li look a little wonky. Okay. And then I squished it in to sort of go with the wonk. Yeah. And then some the ones that are really straight, I just kind of leave simple. Or the this one I really like the shape of, but the top was thin. Oh my god, I love it. And it was this. caving in a bit. So then I just was like, yeah, let's go with the cave. And then I squished it. <laughs> this isn't like top-notch artistry here. This is like playing with Play-Doh. No, I love that though because you made something beautiful out of imperfection. So that's like what we're going to take away from this lesson yeah, today. Yeah, exactly. Is even in moments of imperfection we find the beauty. Oh, listen to her. She's a poet. <laughs> So how do you decide things like this? Okay. Can I show this? Yeah, I don't want so to... these are just little candle holders. <gasps> okay, you know what? I thought it was a class and I was like, how does that work? Wow. This is so beautiful. Here it is before it's bisque. So the bisque is the first firing. Okay. And then it's hard, like a rock. <laughs> but it's not waterproof. So then you put a glaze on it okay. and then you fire it again higher temperature and that's called firing and then it's done. So what are the temperatures for the different like bisking? We don't know. Okay <laughs> yeah we'll cut that. Wait how long does it take to cook it? I think about a day. Okay. I think they turn on the fire. It's actually really beautiful. It's like this big huge room that has these flames along the bottom. It looks like a movie set. Wow. Yeah. Is it around here? It's that. that but then can you be in here when it's cooking? Because does it make it super hot? It doesn't actually. Oh. It just all goes through that tunnel. I guess it's called the pipe. <laughs> the so basically, the lesson learned here is we know nothing about the science of it. We only know about the artistry. Yeah. And we don't even know much about it. <laughs> we squish. <laughs> listen, whatever you're doing is great. But you're selling it all the time now. I am. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to buy one this Although weekend. Although I don't have a website. Well, we gotta get on that. I know. I just have to photograph things. They're just selling so quick. I can't yeah. Keep them on the shelf. <laughs> They're just flying off the shelf, folks. Wait, can we, um, can we do like a little? Yeah, yeah okay. let's do a little. Wow. People are using hair dryers in here. So what you do is you put your stuff here and you wait for it to go in the, the first kiln. You touch these with a break. There's still oh. play. Here is after that first kiln. Look at this little beauty or big do beauty. This. So oh. what I'm gonna do is leave this raw. There's a big and a little of this. Oh my god, how stinking cute! There are little friends. Yeah, this is the baby. Well, wow, is this all the clay? Yep. Yeah. Is that just leftovers? Yeah, that's leftovers. I hate wasting it. Yeah. So I'm a freak about the environment, so I never throw mine in there. No. I take the time to do this, which is really annoying. But I'm drying it out so that I can use it again. Well, that's what, okay. So this is a crazy question, but like, let's just say you were cheap. Could Actually, you go and use everyone yes. else's leftovers? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I feel like I would. Don't do that. What do you? I mean, that's the first thing I thought. I would just go to the bucket, dry okay. out everyone else's stuff, and then use it. The thing about that is you don't know what it's going to look like. It's a bunch of clays mixed together. Oh. Wow. So this is one glaze of about four different kinds of clay. So like these are all the different clays. Which one do you use? I love, this is the one that I like the most, white 27. Are you going to give us a little lesson? Yes. So then how do you get all the stuff in the middle out? The middle is all over. Oh, so it is. This is the just bottom. turned upside down. Yes, oh. exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, I feel like people are annoyed, so I'm gonna turn this off. 
It literally went through your entire house when you were not there, and I was just like looking at all the pottery, and I was like, I want that, I want that, and I want that. Did you see the flowers I put here? Yeah, they're beautiful. Oh, I love that pot. I love that one. I love that one too. The raw outside with the squish. Yeah, so you love it so much that you're gonna give it up. We'll see. We'll see how she behaves this week.